am i audible yes you are audible go ahead yes yes Nani. yeah yeah okay so i'll be introducing dr renuka surujala uh, renuka surujala is a ramdas pai fellow at manipal university jaipur with over 15 years of experience working for denmark universities in, and singapore based clinical research organization she has owned her skills in biochemistry structural biology and nano materials her interests are in the area of structural biology now i would request dr renuka to please come and uh, give a talk yep thank you uh, nancy for uh, introducing and uh, i'm going to share the screen Yeah. Yeah, Dr. Solangi, could you please stop sharing? Uh, Renuka will be presenting now. Yeah, Renuka, please go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm audible, right? Uh, Uh, yes today i'm going to uh, share my uh, knowledge uh, on uh, molecular doping and so basically i'm working in manipal university and as a senior research associate and uh, working on um, synthesized uh, synthetic biology where uh, we synthesize uh, molecular imprinted polymers for drug delivery mechanism and apart from that uh, am i audible you are audible but your voice is not clear okay. hello we cannot see the screen yeah okay i think i should stop sharing and then i'll start again and just a minute no the screen is not visible renuka yes sir i'm going to share. yeah yeah now it's visible yeah thank you yeah and have uh, you um, am i audible okay uh, so uh, basically the in this workshop i am going to discuss on the molecular talking studies which i am um, um, conducting uh, for, for the past uh, few years and uh, in which uh, we are uh, working uh, now on uh, various uh, uh, cancer based proteins and uh, as well as cancer cancer based studies and as well as with uh, the recent uh, covid uh, covid proteins as well so um, i will go in brief uh, the uh, in give the information that uh, why we need to do the molecular doping studies as you know that the uh, in the recent uh, times the molecular doping uh, has uh, gained a lot of uh, attention uh, because uh, it is very easy uh, it's a, it's a computational thing we don't need uh, any wet lab experiments to perform and uh, most importantly in this covid pandemic time uh, if we can uh, do it at home and uh, generate some good results so that uh, we can publish and as well as uh, give a better uh, drug target so in this way it has uh, broadened the scope and uh, molecular docking is a method to predict uh, the orientation of the ligand of uh, the uh, where, where it is going to bind on the macromolecule at the active site uh, where uh, it attains the stable complex this stability of the complex is attained with, uh, with the optimization of the conformation and as well as the free energy system in, uh, when it is uh, at the man um, when it is minimized and um, apart from this uh, the uh, whatever uh, poses which we attain or the conformation we attain from this uh, ligand uh, binding the strength of uh, the association or the binding affinity between these two molecules was uh, based upon the scoring function 
and uh, uh, these are very important in um, uh, having a um, um, wide scope of uh, interesting uh, studies which we can do with respect to protein-protein interactions or uh, nucleic acid-protein interactions or any macromolecule, small molecule interactions uh, where uh, we can also uh, predict the signal uh, transactions. And apart from from that, uh, these all uh, have a lot of impact on uh, the, the drug designing and as well as the wave and, uh, and the rational drug designing of the drug. So in this way, like uh, it has a uh, very uh, good scope to uh, to uh, to work and uh, find uh, some better uh, solutions, uh, better uh, drug targets. And uh, the mechanism which is involved in this uh, drug uh, docking mechanism is just the locking mechanism where uh, the best affinity or the, uh, like uh, the exact fit of the ligand can only have the best binding affinity and as well as uh, if uh, it has uh, the, uh, the relative orientation uh, is um, having a lot of impact in this uh, locking key mechanism. So the way the key is nothing but the ligand, and uh, the lock will be the protein. So in uh, either it can it it may not be only ligand, but it can be protein or uh, uh, nucleic acid, anything. So uh, any of these biological uh, uh, molecules, which macromolecules, can also be targeted as a receptor. The approach in molecular docking uh, uh, is uh, with respect to the uh, uh, is uh, with respect to the uh, algorithms which has been where, where systematic algorithms, uh, genetic algorithms, and also with respect to the uh, molecular dynamics where the stability of the uh, complex uh, 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 with uh, respect to the force field and uh, the cross uh, scoring functions has been. Uh, like uh, analyzed and then the uh, orientation of the conformation structure complexes uh, ligand uh, with respect to the complex can be um, um, uh, analyzed and uh, with respect uh, with the binding energies and RMSD values which are generated um, with uh, various uh, uh, softwares which we use uh, in this uh, molecular docking studies. Uh, in this uh, molecular docking study, uh, the force field uh, has been uh, is evaluated, uh, wherein the binding uh, can be uh, between the ligand and the protein, uh, in which uh, the unbonded conformations uh, in, uh, have the intramolecular energies, which are which are estimated uh, in the transition, and later on. Uh, it, uh, when it gets bonded uh, with the hydrogen bonding and the uh, intramolecular interactions, uh, the uh, free energy is calculated with uh, the uh, calculated automatically with the okay, but uh, the logic, uh, the, uh, the logic or whatever uh, the free energy is calculated is uh, the six pairwise uh, evaluations are considered. And, uh, and the conformation entropy, uh, the minimum entropy of the binding energy has been, uh, is evaluated. And yeah, in this way, the force field is calculated. And the various uh, interactions which are present uh, in this, uh, um, uh, which are uh, computationally evaluated to get the uh, minimum binding energy values uh, depend upon uh, the electrostatic forces, which are the partial charges uh, in the matter, and uh, electrodynamic uh, forces uh, such as the uh, Van der Waals forces, and um, uh, static forces uh, such as the entropy, which is uh, limited, and uh, when it is limited, and it uh, has the minimum uh, free energy in the system. Apart from that, uh, the solvent uh, uh, related forces are also having an impact and they change in the um, uh, interactions and, uh, with respect to the structural changes.
uh, in molecular in uh, different uh, computational softwares which we use uh, for the molecular docking usually the target receptor uh, selection is uh, um, a, a, we, we have to uh, uh, that um, uh, we have to um, do and as well as the ligand uh, selection uh, the way which we can uh, t uh, like uh, take uh, extract the molecules from the zinc uh, pub chem and as well as from the chem sketch or uh, any drug bank as well in the form of uh, SDF files or uh, MOL files thereon it will be converted to PDB files and as well as uh, here the receptor molecule if it is extracted from the uh, RS PDB um, uh, database where uh, uh, with, uh, with respect to the protein where uh, it has a PDB ID from which the molecule, um, the structure or the structure of the protein is uh, extracted. And furthermore, uh, these uh, molecules, uh, these uh, um, um, ligand molecule and as well as the receptor molecule uh, files, uh, PD files are converted into uh, QP files, which is nothing but the uh, the, the partial charges are uh, um, added to these uh, uh, both the ligand and the protein and uh, furthermore it uh, will also uh, we will uh, make the grid or uh, the grid box for the protein where in uh, it will uh, be assigned uh, based upon the active uh, binding uh, active sites available in the protein um, and the parameters are uh, designed uh, wherein uh, usually the orthodox has a genetic algorithm and uh, it takes uh, all the uh, parameters uh, with respect to the genetic uh, uh, mutations or what uh, biological mutations which are present uh, with respect to the protein and as well as uh, the docking parameters are uh, saved as uh, uh, DGP files and furthermore we saw or uh, run uh, in the docking um, uh, uh, so docking or to dock where the, uh, the results are uh, extracted in the form of uh, GLG files which are nothing but the different uh, poses of the conformation orientation for these uh, ligands ligand matter to the uh, so from these uh, the binding energies or uh, we get the data of the binding energies furthermore the the, uh, the ki values are evaluated there are various software uh, with respect to uh, these um, uh, docking studies uh, where, uh, the auto dock is uh, which is a open source software present in the form of uh, two, uh, in two different uh, generations, one is uh, Autodoc 4 and uh, Autodoc V9. The difference here is uh, the accuracy, which is 80% uh, in uh, Autodoc V9 compared to that of the uh, Autodoc 4. And it is uh, one which uh, is uh, usually used uh, for uh, getting accurate um, uh, uh, predictions. And apart from that, uh, the paid uh, version is al also there, which is uh, gold. And uh, where uh, the it is an automated software where everything like uh, you get, uh, you can give a cluster of um, sequence of um, uh, ligands with uh, respect to the protein, and then you can uh, get all the results. And then uh, only thing uh, it is also based upon the auto doc. Um, um, uh, programming, but uh, it is a paid version with uh, some modifications. Apart from that, uh, from India, IIT Delhi is also having the autodoc so, uh, docking software, and uh, there are various uh, uh, softwares which uh, can be used uh, for uh, doing this uh, docking uh, studies, and uh, yes, some. Um, and these are the recent um, studies which we have done uh, together with uh, various uh, col um, col um, various um, other researchers. And uh, uh, in this case study, I am going to present you on uh, curcumin recent, uh, recently published, but it has been 
study for quite a long time uh, on uh, curcumin with respect to SARS CoV protein. Uh, we have considered four proteins here, and where uh, curcumin is a ligand, and uh, apart from this, uh, the difference we have taken is remdesivir and other uh, known uh, drugs and uh, uh, drug, uh, drug targets uh, which are actually acting as an antiviral drug. What we have done here is uh, SARS-CoV uh, proteins. Uh, we have uh, retrieved uh, the PDB structure, the 3D structures uh, with respect to the, uh, from, from the PDB IDs as a target and uh, also the ligand. And furthermore, uh, with uh, the uh, uh, NGL tools, uh, from the Autodoc 4, we have uh, the, uh, we have made the parameters for the grid and as well as the docking and then run the uh, uh, computationally the docking schedule. And the resource uh, visualized furthermore uh, with the uh, Pymol or Chimera even in the Autodoc uh, for the visualizing and the um, complex and also uh, identifying the interacting residues with respect to the best uh, pose of the ligand. And uh, these are the, some of the results which are uh, present here. Is the, uh, this is the 3D structure of, uh, the, um, uh, uh, of the protein. And uh, these are the different uh, ligands. Uh, and the yellow one is the curcumin, which is binding uh, at a specific location. And uh, apart from that, uh, we have also considered azithromycin, evamicin, and as well as uh, some other drugs. Uh, and uh, similarly, with the known drugs, uh, it, has, it is also having the same bind, uh, active sites where it can bind to the top of the uh, uh, antiviral drugs, uh, known antiviral drugs. And uh, we have also studied with respect to the spike uh, protein and as well as the uh, uh, NSP10 and as well as improved capsid protein. Here, uh, from the computationally done um, uh, running the autodoc, uh, we, we got uh, some uh, the results uh, that is nothing but the KL values and the uh, the, uh, the delta G free energy uh, from uh, which, uh, which we which are uh, obtained and the best one uh, the blessed force uh, we have taken the minimum energy and uh, try to uh, generate the data in such a way uh, that the curcumin is having the similar uh, um, minimum energy uh, binding uh, with um, uh, free energy of uh, minus eight and. Uh, as well as for the evamicin and as well as uh, which is even low uh, at minus 7 uh, for the remedies to wear. So if we found that it is more efficient in uh, binding with the nucleocapsid and uh, as well as for the NSP10. And um, uh, we also found uh, in, uh, screen uh, like uh, did the 3D visualization where uh, we were able to find the amine uh, interacting the residues uh, with respect to the curcumin and as well as uh, with the um, uh, azithromycin and as well as uh, so these are also having the same and these are the 3D um, uh, like um, residues, interacting residues with respect to various interactions, especially with the hydrogen bonding and uh, Van der Waals forces, and uh, these are the major uh, one which uh, actually contribute uh, apart from the pi uh, interactions. Furthermore, uh, after uh, like uh, it is um, for uh, just uh, doing the molecular docking is uh, we will get the free energy minimum free energy and as well as the uh, best force and the uh, residues. But furthermore, to know the stability of uh, the uh, complex, we need to go for the molecular simulation and as well as the uh, uh, simulation and uh, the um, yes.
So in this uh, phase, if we run uh, the samples, for, uh, if we run for a longer time, like a uh, hundred uh, NFC, then uh, it will be like we can find uh, how stable it is, and uh, it will take uh, years. So this is uh, these are the results which uh, we obtained from the um, molecular mechanistic studies and as well as from the molecular dynamic studies and uh, these are done by uh, Dr. Anush uh, and as well as um, we have evaluated the binding energies and the van der Waals forces, electrostatic energies and as well as uh, polar solvation energies and then uh, these are um, quite uh, efficient uh, compared to that of the uh, spike protein and that uh, yeah. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor Kaviki Shur, sir, and uh, Dr. Giri, uh, sir, uh, for their uh, guidance and as well as uh, it has been a great uh, uh, possibility to work with uh, Professor uh, Padmanabham uh, from ISC Bangalore as well. And uh, I would like to thank uh, for Dr. Babita Malik, uh, Dr. Abhinav uh, Anush and Gaurav. Apart from that, uh, Nancy Gaitri and Mehek, who has been working with me in their, their different projects with respect to computational studies. And um, am I really, uh, I have a, I am really blessed to have a wonderful family who uh, supports me uh, in uh, my scientific career. Thank you, and I would like to uh, move forward uh, with uh, Arvind Kaur, who will give a demo on the orthodox code, and uh, and also we will continue with the hands-on. Thank you. Hi, can I start? Yeah, I think. Okay. Please stop sharing. Yeah. Just a minute. I hope everyone has downloaded uh, Autodoc 4, uh, the one who want to, uh, I think uh, everyone has done this. If not, please uh, download uh, Autodoc 4, NGL tools. Okay, so good evening everybody. Uh, so today I'll be demonstrating you uh, Autodoc Vina for talking of a 3B2T, a protein uh, associated with uh, oral cancer. So we will download its structure from rcspdb.org. Uh, so from here, we will download, uh, download the file in PDB format. Okay. And you can extract the file from here. And for the drug and for the drug we will uh, go for uh, canapitol it is a drug responsible for uh, treating uh, various types of cancers so we will get its uh, smile format from here um, uh, are you getting my voice yes sir Yes. Okay, so my voice is audible now. Okay, thank you. You carry on, complete this. Uh, so we will copy this uh, smile structure from here and we will paste it in Cactus, an online smile converter. Uh, so we will choose PDB and here 2D and we will translate. Ma'am, can you explain what you're doing also other than uh, what to click? Exactly what are we doing in each step? Okay, so as I told you, uh, this is a 3B2T is a uh, protein which is uh, which is associated with oral cancer. 
for that we will download the uh, pdb file format for this particular protein okay so next step is we will download the drug the ligand uh, for cancer this one is cannabidiol this is just for your demonstration and for this uh, we will go to, uh, you'll go to drug bank uh, geo.drugbank.com and uh, Nancy, can you just copy and keep it in the chat box? Okay, fine. Uh, can I share after this in the group if it is okay for you? Or after performing, I'll just share. No, you just uh, copy that and go step by you step. Know? That will be good. All right. Okay, so this is the link for this, and this is the link for protein. For here, you can search for protein. Okay, and this is the online smile converter. So here you can copy your smile and uh, select PDB and 3D coordinates and translate. And here you'll click and you'll, and this is the 3D structure of, uh, of this particular cannabidiol. So for doing uh, talking, firstly, we will go to MGL tools, Autodoc tools. Here we will, uh, firstly, we will set the path to the directory. Uh, so this is my uh, directory. So firstly, uh, I'll from file read molecule, this is the protein. Firstly, I'll read the protein molecule. So this is the protein uh, 3B2T. From here, we will go to edit. Firstly, we will delete water. Then again, we will go to uh, edit, add Coleman charges. And again, go to edit and charges and compute gesture. And hydrogens add, add hydrogens from here. And go to grid, macromolecule, choose, choose this macromolecule. Uh, basically, we are adding the charge and torsion to this particular uh, protein. So this is 3B2T dot PDP Uh Nancy, someone has uh, some issues. I think just a minute. Uh, uh, shall we ask if anybody is having any issues? Please uh, let us know. Are you able to follow? We are just hearing you click something. We don't know why you are clicking it. So can you please explain at each step what we are trying to do? All right. Uh, first thing is uh, we have to make the ligand. We have to like uh, take the ligand molecule so that uh, which we are going to target and as well as uh, um, the lead molecule. So for getting the lead molecule, we are using the, uh, either PubChem, Drug Bank or Zinc ID. So that is first step where uh, we take the ligand small molecules. And say in the second step, I think uh, please go to the drug bank or um, uh, Nancy. Okay. So from there, we will uh, take the small molecules. We will, uh, we will uh, take as a SDF okay. file or MOL2 files. 
and search for the drug here. And after searching for the drug, uh, we will go to the structure, download. Uh, here we will get the smile. We will copy these smiles and uh, go to this link, cactus.nci.nih. What is smiles? What is smiles? Yeah, smiles is an online trans. Uh, okay, smile is a two D demonstration. Uh, yeah, it is a code for that complex uh, for for the uh, um, small molecules. Yeah, yeah, it is a two D code like C three carbon and all. Uh, it's like a nomenclature of of protein or a ligand. So we will copy this smile structure here and uh, choose PDB and the 3D coordinates and we will translate from here and download the uh, PDB format of uh, ligand from here. Okay. So after uh, are we able to do this, uh, this step. Okay, I will do this again. Translate. Uh, just this, uh, are you able to follow uh, this step, extracting the uh, ligand and as well as converting into PDB file? Please let us know so that we will go further. Yeah, just let us know. Hello. Um, should we download the PDB format? It says uh, GZ in brackets or just the normal one? Uh, yes. You can extract this. Extract from this. This is in CIF. So if it is in CIF, uh, you can open it in PyMool and convert it into PDB from there. Yeah, here you can simply download in PDB format. Uh, this one, second one, not GZ. You can simply download the first one, this one. You can save it. So are you able to download the PDB files of the ligand and as well as uh, the protein? If you have anyone have any issues, please let us know here itself so that we can go to the autodoc tool. This is the preparation of ligand and protein. Uh, can you please once more show us uh, uh, how to uh, do that smiles converter and convert that ligand structure into PDB? Okay. So after this, uh, you know how did we get this smile? Yes. Okay. So you'll copy this and go to this. Okay. This is online smile translator. You can go there. You can remove this and paste yours. And then from here, click on PDB. And here, uh, go for 3D coordinates. And click on translate. In the next page, click here, and you will get your uh, PDB uh, PDB file of your liking. Okay, thank you. Okay. Others also, uh, are you done up till this? For the protein, we will take, uh, we will extract the 3D structure of uh, from the RSPDB ID, and uh, for uh, this, uh, either the smileys or SDF or MOL files can be converted with various um, uh, open well or uh, different software uh, tools are available where it can be converted to PDB files.
can i go to next step am i audible hello yeah your voice is coming properly okay so can i go to next step if everybody is done with this yeah. hmm. okay yes. so next step is you will uh, go to autodoc tools from mgl tools uh, after downloading mgl tools uh, here you can go to file read molecule uh so firstly we will convert we will convert the protein dot pdb to protein dot pdb qt so we will add the charges in torsion to our protein uh protein uh why we need to convert it um uh, in we are converting it in order to do further talking uh because okay. Okay. Uh, some of the like uh, charges are not added to the protein like uh, so to make uh, it a uh, partially charged uh, we are uh, adding the charges and also removing the water molecules and yeah okay thank you uh, basically we will make the environment clean like uh, we will remove all the hurdles from the molecule so firstly we will delete the water and then we will add colman charges then we will add a uh, compute gestured charges and then um, we will add the hydrogen now we will go to grid macromolecule choose this 3b2t uh, select Excuse molecule Excuse me while uh, adding that hydrogens uh, will we have to add that polar only or that all hydrogens first all all hydrogens so we will save this file as 3b2t.pdbqt uh, and we will save it Uh, hello hello so when we are adding this hydrogen so is there any uh, possibility we can change see the difference uh, the charges before and after the difference after adding and after before adding it uh, this hydrogen bond we can calculate the differential um, charges gain and loss of the charges after adding and removing uh so like we can calculate the charges using another to other tools um uh, oh, okay. Okay. okay okay thank you okay so for now after, we will uh, after adding hydrogen what we will have to do uh after this we will go to grid macromolecule choose and we will choose our uh, 3b2t and click okay and you will get a tab where you can write your protein name and it will be saved in pdb qt format okay is everybody done up till this could you uh, show which hydrogen you choose all from here at that uh hydrogen add here you just need to click okay you need not to uh, change the default here add polar hydrogen here ah uh, ma'am actually i have added all hydrogens here um it you should add uh, polar hydrogen Okay. Let like this uh, first you uh, complete one process and then like we can re repeat the process. Okay, first you just dock, get the result, and then show the result, and after that we can discuss upon steps. Okay. Fine. Okay. Otherwise, like at every step you will be stuck. Okay. So we will uh, now we will go to ligand input. 
open. Uh, here we will select all files and select uh, this particular Canopy Diol, which I asked you to download. So this is the ligand. Yeah, the charges has been added by the system once you upload. Okay. So after this, you will go to ligand, then choose torsion. Sorry. And save it as PDB duty. So after this, you will again open the protein.pdbqt from here. This is the receptor and then ligand. The yeah. So now, basically, we will. Now receptors and ligands both are there in the space. Yeah. Now you set the grid and then. Yeah. So first the macromolecule choose. This is the macromolecule, the protein. Uh, this one, three B two D. So right in a, right now in the space we have both ligand as well as receptor. Now we are taking a receptor and we are creating a grid, small grid, where we, where our ligand will search for all positions, binding positions. Um, after that, we will go to macromolecule and choose the macromolecule. Then we will go to set map types and choose the ligand. And select the ligand from here. Um, then we will go to grid box. Here we will do blind docking. Uh, but if you want to go for uh, specific residues, you can go to cast fee and get the active site information, the residue numbers. I I'll let you know how to do that also. But for now, uh, we can make the grid and we can specify the dimension. Like we will cover the whole protein in the grid. Like because this is the blind option. So whole protein is in the grid box now. Then file, close saving current. And now grid, output, save as GPS, grid parameter file. So demo dot, demo dot GPF. Uh, is it clear up till here? Green, we, yes. Okay, so then we have we will the parameter file. Okay, so firstly, in order to do uh, not the blind docking, uh, suppose you have uh, information about active site residues, you can click the residue, you can select the residues from here and um, uh, make the box like suppose these are the active sites or this is the area where active sites are present so you can mention that particular area and make the box around that particular area only so now we will make dog parameter file so for that we will go to macromolecule and set rigid file name and file name and go to 3b2d.pdbqt and open uh, then docking like ligand choose uh, can I buy I all dot dem, uh, this one? Except uh, then to, uh, we will go to search parameters genetic algorithm. So basically, ideally, the number of genetic algorithm runs must be 25 and population size must be around uh, 200. So you can change it, but yeah, I'm giving you a demo, so I'll go with the default ones. So after this output, the marking uh, demo dot DPF. 
so this is the both the files are ready so now we will go to command prompt and we will go we will go to the location so this is okay so if everybody is uh, done till here just let me know and one more thing uh, you need to copy your auto doc 4 and auto grid 4.exe into the same folder where you'll uh, download your pdb file pdb qt file your gpf tpf everything must be in the same folder you just need to copy uh, autodoc and autocrate .exe into uh, this same folder okay so you will go to this and then uh, write auto grid in order to run grid param uh, grid parameter file uh, auto grid 4.exe Uh, Rinuka, ma'am, are you there? Hello? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, ma'am, can you see this command? Is it fine? Yeah. You can even uh, run directly as well with the same auto doc. Uh, Yeah, uh, Nancy and uh, uh, Renuka, I mean, I uh, appreciate your patience, uh, but you know, Purana has to live because you know, there's a lockdown, so uh, there will be a barricade, you know, uh, near the place. So can we just continue this demo soon after Puran's talk? It'll, it'll be finishing in 45 minutes. Okay. Uh, so I, uh, just, a, uh, just a minute, sir. Uh, so I have run this grid file, and yes. in the similar manner, you will write auto.4.exe, uh, hyphen p demo dot dpf hyphen l demo dot dlg after this after running this uh, so you run uh, open okay. another and uh, run both the files you start this both the files open another window and then run okay, you, yes enter it uh, sir, after i'll get the grid results uh, after that i'll run that uh, doc file okay yeah, so it is a similar command. Only you need all you need is uh, for, uh, instead of grid, just write doc dot exe and D, uh, glg uh, instead of glg write dlg and uh, like replace g instead of g uh, or vice versa. Just do this uh, till the next talk. So uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Nancy and Renuka, you know, for the wonderful uh, presentation. So friends, let's then give them a big round of applause to uh, Renuka and Nancy. Thank you so much. Yeah. So you'll be back. So please don't worry. You know, the entire day is for, uh, you know, running your uh, hands on as well. So please don't worry. Uh, so over to, uh, uh, you know, PS Solanki, please. You know, he has already been introduced. So Puran, uh, you know, please uh, uh, take until uh, six o'clock. Yeah, please. Huh? Thank you so much. Okay, uh, let me uh, open my presentation. I hope my 